So a lot of you did say I should try the OnePlus Bud Z2 after my Nothing Year 1 long term review. Especially because I've been having a lot of connectivity issues with the Nothings. It cuts once in a while which can get a bit frustrating. Now I do like those earphones a lot but uh, this could prove to be inconvenient for a lot of people. So here we are with the OnePlus Bud Z2 and this is my first impressions review. This packaging reminds me a lot of the original OnePlus Buds that I reviewed quite a while ago. I don't remember when I reviewed those. But everything about this just screams the original to me. Which is kind of part reason why I was putting this off. I didn't really want to review these. But here we are. Let's look at what's in the box. Yeah, so this, this takes me back to what my original review was about the OnePlus Buds. Except those were white. This is the Obsidian Black version uh, in the box. Uh, so let's see what it's about. You get the usual capsule, which which was like the original. Um, in the box, you get this red cable club card, which is quite cool. You should get the usual cable and whatnot. Yep, there's a cable. I think the last one was red. Is this one? Yep. I think this is the same cable they're using. And then you've got your literature and extra ear tips. It looks like these are small and large. So obviously, it's got the mediums on. So that's the box. I'm going to put it aside because there's not much in it. Let's go and see how the earbuds are built. Hey, what's this sticker on it? There's a little sticker on this, on the case. Uh, obviously, it's had to, to go through some sort of testing here in India. So here we are. It's got a glossy a glossy finish, this capsule. It's it's very similar. Everything about this case just is the original. Except that this, I mean, I think even that was extremely glossy. This is also extremely glossy. It's already picked up a whole bunch of fingerprints. I'm pretty sure this is going to scratch like mad. It's got a USB-C uh, charging connector here, uh, a pairing reset button right next to that, and um, a little LED on the front. Feels better than that one. It seems like they've put some resistance to it. It does have a nice feel and I think a nicer sound also. So some work has been done here. The earbuds also have a glossy finish. The touch areas are also a smooth glossy finish. But I, I've never grown to like this one's layout specifically because maybe if it were the other way where you can reach to the stem instead of the earbud, it would be easy, easier to grab. These are terrifically glossy. It might make sense to synchronize these. Oh, that was unsettling. I just heard a really weird sc scratching sound on the right ear, but which I'm, which is coming and going. Maybe I should just set these up before I do anything. I think it's 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 just Hey Melody again. Why why can't they just launch an app? I mean, anyway, okay, I've got Hey Melody. So so let's see how these. See, I'm I'm getting that scratching sound again. Oh, that is really disturbing, man. It's as if there's a static in the radio kind of sound. It's it's a bit creepy. Feel comfortable actually in the ear. I'm. Kind of used to using the nothings because I've been using them every day and I like the feel of these. I think these have longer stems than the nothings, but I'll have to look at them back to back to make sure. But these are comfortable. I I think these fit me properly as well. These are the medium size ear tips. So anyway, let me go into the AMLED app and see what we can do. If one does, does in fact, you guys tell me, does OnePlus have an app for this? If they have an app, I'd like to test it out for my in-depth review because like the Nothing uh, app lets you toggle between noise cancelling and various other things. So it, it's neat to have that and it's easy to do your software updates with that. So let me know if, if this has uh, because I think it's only supported on Hey Melody. Of course, unless you have a OnePlus phone, then it, it kind of works seamlessly and you should have more options with it. Okay, this is cool because OnePlus but Z2 on the Hey Melody app. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. But it's got a whole lot of options and custom settings you can use even for the noise cancelling. When I shift it over to noise cancellation, there's really nasty that scratching sound again. Transparency mode. Scratching again on the right earbud. Ooh, this is really disturbing. Uh, in earbud controls, you can customize your left and right. Hey, Melody has improved a lot. This is really nice. Yeah, whenever I switch the noise cancelling modes, there's this weird scratching sound. So anyway, that's Hey, Melody. I think it's it's progressed a lot since the last time I've used it. I think I last used it a few months ago when I was still using my old W51. It didn't look this sleek. Uh, it's got a lot more options. It's, it's got a nicer interface. Uh, so kudos to Hey, Melody. But I really wish OnePlus had its own app uh, for their earphones. So anyway, since I've got the earphones in, let's listen and see uh, what I think about these initially. I'm going to jump into my music app as usual and go through a few tracks. Um, 
I'm checking this out on uh, maximum noise cancelling at the moment and I'm not going to shift between profiles because that weird scratching sound comes up on the right earbud. I haven't seen any sign of a software update on Hey Melody yet but uh, I will check it out and hopefully that will address this weird scratching issue. Check your volume before you <laughs> start listening to your phones. This thing uh, started off at 50% which is which is loud. You know, I can honestly say these, I think definitely sound a lot better than the original OnePlus Buds Z, which I tested earlier. I remember that those sort of uh, stood face to face with the Oppo Enco W31s, which is a, a, a lower segment. Uh, whereas I'd put this in the W51 to nothing year one category. These do sound much better than the previous gen. The lower frequencies do sound a bit held back, like they are, they want to do more, but they're a bit shy. Let, let me change what I'm listening to. Uh, right now, I'm listening to December 1963 uh, by The Four Seasons. And I'm moving on to Olivia Rodrigo. It's a track that I've heard recently called Traitor. There's some nice harmonizing in this. And somebody's definitely hurt this girl very badly. <laughs> Jeez. The lyrics are quite... Uh, it's daggers. If you've not heard it, give it a listen. She's gone through some stuff. Her voice seems to sound a bit on the thinner, tinier side with these earphones. But the bass, I think, needs certain genres of music because the way this song is recorded, the bass is suddenly opened up compared to the last track I was listening to. These definitely sound so much better than their previous generation. Obviously, the noise cancelling does make a significant difference as well. Yeah, so on a sound front, these things are a huge upgrade from the, the predecessors. So I'd say I wouldn't compare these to the Oppo Enco W31 like I did with the previous generation. These are a segment higher, so I would compare these to the Oppo Enco W51 and of course the Nothing Year One. So I'll leave that Nothing Year One versus this comparison for a little later. But uh, the overall fit and finish, I think, has improved. It does look much neater. The attention to detail is definitely on point. They've done a good job with, uh, with that. I don't like the glossy finish. I just wish they had moved on to a matte, like the inside uh, finish over here is a matte finish. If they did the same thing on the outside, it would look really classy. This one is called Obsidian Black, so I'm sure uh, there's a lot of people who do like this look, but the problem with this is it's 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 a glossy finish. It's almost a mirror finish. It's it's going to pick up scratches in no time. Grease prints, fingerprints, it, it just doesn't look nice whenever you have to interact with it. And of course, I've never liked the placement of the OnePlus Buds into the case. It's a bit odd. If it were a uh, stem sticking out, I think I'd be okay. It would be easy to grab each stem and pull it out. But the stems sit on the inside, so it makes it a bit... It's a bit finicky. But what do I think about the sound? I think the, the, the sound has definitely improved. Obviously, they've got a lot more going on. Uh, I don't know the absolute details as to what they've done in the sense what the driver size is, or what materials they've used and so on. But they've definitely done a lot of homework here and they've had to because there were so many earphones in the market that were starting to introduce noise cancelling as a standard feature in this price range. I think I got these for about 4,999. So the, the price may vary depending on if you're buying it during a sale or if you've got multiple deals on it. I'd lump this in the category of the nothing year one when it comes to the sound, meaning I, I will do a comparison between the two. Having said that though, the nothings I think have shot up in price again. They're going for about 7,000, which is uh, 2,000 bucks more than this. So the comparison will be interesting. But before that, I will be coming out with an in-depth review. So if you have stayed this long for this video, you most probably do like the content on my channel. And if you do like and subscribe, it really will help the channel. And thank you for tuning into Paul's POV for some sound advice.